Hey hackers, the coding kid here. Today we will be creating this mouse trail in p5.js. I think we can do this one in five minutes. So let's put the timer over here. Um, let's position it. Nice. Okay, and let's start it in three, two, one. Boom. Okay. First thing, we'll create a canvas. Uh, create canvas with a width of 700, a height of 500, and in the background, or in the draw loop, we'll call background with zero, which is black. And uh, nice. Next, we want to draw a circle at the mouse position. So circle, mouse x, mouse y, and a diameter of 50. Now, the reason this works is the draw loop is being called by p5.js around 60 times and um, per second, 60 times per second. And the mouse X and mouse Y are the current mouse coordinates and that's why you can see a circle at the mouse position. Great. Next we want to create multiple circles so let we'll create an array and say let um, what should we call it trail be assigned to an empty array Nice, now we have to add stuff into this array because it's currently empty. So trail.push create vector vector mouse x mouse y and a vector is a point in any dimension, in our case two dimensions because we provided two parameters. Great. So that worked, there aren't any errors in the console, but we have to use trail. So let's loop over trail. So full i less than trail dot length plus plus. Let current, because that's the current vector where we are dealing with, be assigned to trail of i. And then we'll move the circle into there. So we're going to be drawing a lot of circles. Let's try that. And we actually have to use current. So current.x, which is the first value, current.y. Now let's see what that does. Nice, that is a cool effect, but we want circles from the trail to disappear and also this is really bad for performance so if I print um, if I print trail you will see there are a lot of vectors in there and if I print the length that's how many vectors are in the trail array and you can see it increases really quickly even if I'm not moving my mouse so what we can do to fix those two things is check if the trail dot length is greater than a hundred then we want to take out the last element or the first element from the trail and the way we will do that is by calling trail dot shift and that will remove the first element from an array over here okay right so let's see what happens nice very cool now we need to do the size and pretty quickly okay so what we want is the size to be greater when the circle is closer to the mouse that means it's um, in a 
higher index or greater index and the way we can do that is by just using i over here so i as the size or the diameter and that is a very cool effect let's do i divided by two very cool and the timer is almost done let's see if we can take out the border in that time no stroke quickly and perfect that is a nice effect great okay so i think we can add one more thing i don't like this white color so let's say full and then we can provide a color i will be using a hex color so hash and my color is a orange color with some transparencies so i will say half ff hash ff five five seven three three eight, eight. let's try that cool and you can see it's a bit transparent and i think that's it for today's video happy coding and please like and subscribe